Hey everybody, one another episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my show about great products from small companies. Now today I'm taking a look at a modular terrain set for the Catacombs of Corral expansion for Relic Blade from Schooner Labs. Now Schooner Labs um, is a Canadian-based MDF and accessories company. And they make some cool terrain kits too. So this all folds up and goes in a box, but I got it all laid out to show you. Um, it is fully compatible with like the terrain requirements basically from Catacombs. So let's take a look. So here we go with some miniatures for scale, the Catacombs Modular Terrain Set. Now this is the box. It's designed to all go back into and it is ready to push fit together um, in a nice way to contain this stuff when it is all broken down. Um, it's all just basically lock pieces. So the piece, the top pieces will sit on top. Um, all the corners are wedge designed to lock in. Um, and I'm presenting it here unpainted, although I am gonna paint uh, and add a little bit more detail to it probably um, just to make it match my miniature collection, uh, like the basing and stuff like that too. Um, but it arrived in this uh, sort of like wood, sort of green mossy stone, and then black for the walls and bases style. Now Catacombs requires an eight by eight, a uh, four by eight, and then I believe it is, um, oh shoot, I can't, I can't remember the final size. Um, I think it's six by four, or it might've been three by eight. Um, style. Uh, instead of making them in exactly that dimension, they're designed modularly. So uh, the four by eights and eight by eights, and, and the idea here is you could actually use this for other things and rearrange it in different styles. Um, the uh, the four by four will go down to four by eight. You can rearrange each of them to make an eight by eight, um, and you have a little more versatility because you can replace the corners wherever you want. Um, you have your four inch and eight inch. Uh, walkways and gangplants to like connect it all together. And then the wall sections include the two required doors for Catacombs of Corral. Uh, it does have tons of different like, uh, sort of like details embossed into it. Like you can see there's all kinds of holes in the walls. Even the base itself has some cracks and stuff and I'll make those pop a little bit more when I actually paint this stuff. I like that the stone comes conveniently already in black. Um, so I'm gonna give it just like a probably zenithal spray paint in gray um, and then some procedural like dry brushing, maybe a bit of airbrush details when it's all said and done to kind of zhuzh it up. And it, actually even sponging would work here too. I could just break up some sponge. Uh, and paint it with that as well. So I'll ship like on my social media, I'll post some pictures of it when it's all finished um, that you can check out. But this was a really nice um, and like economical solution to having all the train pre-made. And you could play with it right out of the box like this as well and get through all the scenarios uh, from Catacombs of Corral. So I'm excited for the let's play that I get to do on this and to play through the actual like dungeon scenarios. But I figured I'd give you guys a look before I painted it so you can check it out for yourselves and I'll link it all below. So there you go, a very cool uh, modular terrain kit for Catacombs of Corral uh, for Relic Blade from Schooner Labs. Now, if you know of a product you think deserves more attention, you can email me at girlminiaturegames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets, and I'll put it in front of as many people as possible. Big thanks for watching. Till next time, Ash. Have a great night. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games already recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching. It really does help out, and happy gaming.